All right, let's talk about the difference between vertical asymptotes and holes in the graph, which you guys are starting to see in homework 9. So here with this function, we have f of x equals x plus 4 divided by x minus 2. And I told you that to find vertical asymptotes, we take our denominator, x minus 2, set it equal to 0, and solve for x. And so this graph has a vertical asymptote, vertical asymptote at x equals 2. Okay, so let's talk about where the holes in the graph come up. All right, let's take a look at this function right here where we have f of x equals x squared minus 36 all divided by x plus 6. Well, for starters, I'm going to factor that numerator into x plus 6 and x minus 6, and I'm going to copy my denominator as x plus 6. Okay, notice here that the factor x plus 6 cancels. All right, and so we are left, if we simplify this, as f of x equals x minus 6. Okay, and so I have simplified my function f. But I told you in the lecture material that to find the vertical asymptote, we take our denominator, x plus 6, set it equal to 0, and solve for x and we get x equals negative 6. But the x plus 6 cancels when we're simplifying our function. So this is a situation where we have a hole in the graph when x is negative 6. Okay, because the factor x plus 6 it cancels, instead of getting a vertical asymptote at negative 6, we actually get just a hole in the graph when x is negative 6. All right, and let me go back here to another one. All right, so let's take a look at this one. All right, so again, I'm going to factor my numerator. So I have f of x equals x squared minus 36, all divided by x plus 6 times x minus 6. I'm going to factor my numerator into x plus 6, x minus 6. And I'm going to copy my denominator, x plus 6, and the factor x minus 1. All right, well, what happens? Well, again, the x plus 6 cancels, and so I'm left with my simplified function as x minus 6 divided by x minus 1. Okay, but I want to find my vertical asymptotes. Well, again, you know from the lecture to take your denominators, set them equal to 0, and solve for x. So I take x plus 6, set it equal to 0, and I get x equals negative 6, and I take x minus 1, set it equal to 0, and solve for x, and I get x equals 1. All right, what's the difference between the vertical asymptote and the hole in the graph? We're going to have a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. Why? Because we still have it in the denominator. All right, we have the factor x minus 1 in the denominator. However, for x equals negative 6, we're going to have a hole in the graph because this is the factor that cancels. So we're going to have a hole in the graph at x equals negative 6 and a vertical asymptote at x equals 1.